face recognition using python let's understand the project structure first we will build the face recognizer in three different parts the first phase of the project is all about collection of the data set the second phase is all about training the model the third one is finally for recognizing the faces before diving into the project it is important to get a structure created create a folder structure as presented in front of you you have to create two empty folders named dataset and models also make sure that the files dataset underscore creator dot py train underscore model dot py and face underscore recognizer dot py are all kept in the appropriate location as presented in front of you any misplacement would lead to errors face detection and face recognition before recognizing the faces we need to detect a face in any recognizer project the first step is to detect an object and then to recognize it let's understand what is face detection first it has the objective of finding faces in a given image depending on the location and size extract the image by cropping out the remaining region let's understand what is face recognition after the images are extracted and converted to grayscale the face recognition algorithm is responsible for finding the characteristics which best describes the given image we have got a very simple representation in front of you for you to understand how exactly the face detection and face recognition are different for detecting a face we will use human face detection hair cascade which are pre-trained models for detecting a face for recognizing a face we will use lbph local binary pattern histogram dataset creation we will be creating a data set of 200 images of each person whose faces are to be recognized for better accuracy you can even increase this number but make sure you do not increase it too much because it could lead to overfitting and damages the whole recognizer the collected images are stored with the id of the person and the serial number of the sample image separated by a dot for an instance if the id of the first person is given as 1 then the image samples are stored as 1.1 1.2 1.5 like this the recognizer will recognize the person based on this id the dataset underscore creator dot py contains the python code for obtaining the training dataset initially the required libraries cv2 numpy and time are imported face underscore detect will load the hair cascade for detecting the frontal face of any human hair cascades are developed by training a lot of images with lot of diversity for getting utmost accuracy the frontal face hair cascade used in this session is also trained with lot of frontal faces of human of different region different color different structure for obtaining the best accuracy in the face detection it is very diversified and it is well tried this hair cascade can detect any human face but cannot classify between faces hair cascade for detecting different objects are developed and are available as open source in the internet explaining the development of hair cascade is out of the scope of this course hence we are not getting into it you can see the small piece of code which is presented where we have imported cv2 numpy and type also we are using hair cascade frontal face default.xml and this is what is explained some time back face of each person who has to be recognized must be assigned with an id this id can be name of a person or some number it is better to name the id of the person as small as possible camera stores the live feed from the camera sample faces stores the number of samples captured from the video feed RET, IMG and GRAY is used for converting the obtained frame into grayscale. The frontal face hard cascade is applied on the grayscale frame to obtain the X, Y coordinates and the width W, the height H of the face in the image frame. If X, Y, W, H values are valid, then sample faces count would be incremented by 1 cv2.imwrite is used for saving an image using OpenCV. It is stored in the dataset folder with the name id.samplefaces.jpg. 
the complete grayscale image frame is not stored in the location only the cropped image is stored gray y colon y plus h comma x colon x plus w is used for cropping the face from the complete image frame all these details are presented in the code snippet as proper code and you are requested to go through it it is very easy to understand and it is very important to understand as well cv2 dot rectangle is used for drawing a rectangle on the image frame the coordinates of the top left corner of the face is x comma y and the coordinates of the bottom right corner of the face is x plus w comma y plus h the color of the rectangle is given as 255 00 which is blue color the thickness is quoted as 2 and you can choose any color you can choose thickness of your choice we are highlighting the color and the thickness choice right now for your quicker reference one should always note that in the open cv the color coordinates are always read as bgr and not as rgb so 255 comma 0 comma 0 is blue color hence this has to be noted and pointed while writing the code this will be impactful after every image is captured OpenCV waits for about 75 milliseconds as instructed in the code and then shows the image frame along with the rectangle drawn around the face. If the number of sample faces collected becomes 200 then the loop breaks. If you want to break the loop in the middle then you can press the W key. Dot release releases the camera and CV2 dot destroy all windows closes the window opened by OpenCV. Kindly note that if you already have the facial data set, then you can change the name of the images as ID dot sample number and paste them in the data set folder. Let's understand what exactly is the LBP algorithm. There are many sophisticated and complex algorithms for training and recognizing the human faces. These algorithms get trained by evaluating hundreds of parameters obtained from the faces. We will be using LBP which is local binary pattern based algorithm to train and to classify the faces. This model is very easy to use, takes minimal time to train and gives good results. The LBP algorithm uses four parameters radius, neighbors, grid X and grid Y. Radius is used to build the circular LBP and represents the radius around the central pixel. It is usually set to one. Neighbors are the number of sample points to build the circular LBP. The more sample points we include, the higher the computational cost. It is usually set to 8. Grid X is the number of cells in the horizontal direction and grid Y is the number of cells in the Y direction. The more the number of cells, the finer the grid. Also, the higher the dimensionality of the resulting feature vector. They are usually set to 8. LBP algorithm is applied on the below image. It chooses a matrix of size based on the radius of the green circle. As the radius increases, the number of pixels in the matrix also will increase. A brief illustration of LBP based computation is performed on a 3 cross 3 matrix as shown in the animation presented below. The center element of the matrix is compared to the all the adjacent elements and if an element in the matrix is greater than the center element then it is replaced by 0 else it is replaced by 1. You could see the same thing in the animation and it is very nicely depicted for your quicker reference. The value 0 or 1 comes over there based on the comparison and that's how the animation is also explaining you the same. The matrix is constructed with 1s and zeros after applying LBP is known as the binary matrix. The binary matrix is converted to a linear array as shown below. A whole number is calculated from the linear array which represents the entire matrix. This process is repeatedly and continuously done all over the image creating binary matrices for the input image. Training the model. Initially, OS, CV2, NumPy and PAL are imported. OS is a pre-installed library 
which helps in performing the OS level operations in the Python. Here we are using OS to obtain the names of the images in the dataset folder. cv2.face.lbph face recognizer underscore create is used for creating the face recognizer model. Initially, this is stored in the model variable without any learned features. A root folder of the data set is stored in the variable path. Get face IDs function is used for obtaining each image and its corresponding ID. Image paths variable is used to store the path of the each image in the data set folder. Face and IDs array stores the numpy array of each image and the ID of each image respectively. One can go through the code and understand the same concepts easily. For every IMG path in the IMG paths array, each IMG path is opened using image.open of PA library and converted to grayscale using dot convert of L. The converted image is stored in the face image variable. Face image is then converted into a numpy array of uint8 type and stored in img array. The img array is appended to the face array. Similarly, the id of the image is obtained using os and split operations. Id of the image is stored in the id's array. Each image in the dataset folder is shown for 10 milliseconds using cv2.imshow and cv2.waitkey. All these operations have been performed with the code which you are seeing in front of you. After reading all the images in the image paths array, then the IDs and the face are returned which are used to train the model. After the training gets completed, all the learned features are saved in a .oml file which is stored in the models folder. Finally, all CV2 windows will be destroyed. Recognizer. The most important component recognizer is coming into picture here. cv2.face.lbph face recognizer underscore create can be used for both learning and recognition. For recognition, the train model which is stored in the models folder should be loaded into the recognizer using dot read. Face cascade is used for detecting a face in the video frame. Dot detect multi scale is used for obtaining the X, Y, W, and H of a detected face in the video frame. Recognizer dot predict with gray in the bracket Y, Y plus H, comma X, X plus W is used for predicting the ID of the face in the video frame. According to the detected face, CV2 dot put text is used to write the text on the video frame. All these are to be followed meticulously and if any mistakes are made in between or if any process is missed, it might result in errors. If you are done with the recognition of faces, then press W for releasing the camera and closing all the CV2 open windows. Let's summarize our learning. You have built a simple yet effective face recognition system that can capture the data set instantly, train the model and recognize the faces. You can increase the number of images to be captured and might increase the accuracy of the model as well, but increasing it largely will make the model overfit and make wrong predictions. You also learned more about OpenCV and about the LBP algorithm from this session. We are going to understand how do we recognize the face using Python, OpenCV and LBP. This is pretty much similar to whatever you are seeing in the modern day smartphones. We are going in the process right now and it is very easy to understand and anybody can follow this up in their mission also when they are trying to do. The first and foremost thing that one should understand is we should have an appropriate structure of the project directory, I mean the folder before you proceed. We have already discussed this in the theoretical explanation and we expect you to follow the same for seamless running. Now when you open this directory, you can see that we have got a data set and inside data set there is nothing because we have not yet collected it. Models, there is nothing. The model is not yet generated. We are going to collect the data set and we will generate the model while the process is midway through. And we have got first step to collect the data set where we need to run the file called dataset underscore creator dot py and we are going to do that right now. Once you run it, you will be asked to enter the ID and you can enter the ID like one, two, three, four, something like that. Since we are the first person to test it, we are going to enter the ID as one initially. 
it is going to be one and the images will be saved accordingly now when i run it you can see that the data is being collected right now and turn the face as much as possible so that every angle every aspect of the face would be collected 200 images would be collected and it will all happen within seconds so it is better to give the image input feed from all possible directions to get accurate results once collection is done it will close and you will get a message as data set with 200 faces have been collected successfully we can validate this by visiting the directory where we have got the data set collected you can see that all the images are available here and the image name is one dot something because we have entered the id as one now it is very important for us to check the same system can work for all genders all colors all creed and all structures so we are going to train the system by collecting the data set of a woman as well we can run that and we are going to do that right now this time we are going to enter the id as 2 because last time we have entered 1 for the previous data collected now i am going to enter 2 and once it is done it will start the process i am showing the image of a woman through the mobile and it is all capturing and all 200 pictures will be captured and that will serve as the data set for us the first one was a male and the second one is a female and we are going to get the system trained with both male and female images and we have collected 200 faces images right now and that's it the image collection part is over we will open the data set directory and we will check if all the images are available there now scroll through a little bit and you will see that the latestly collected woman images are inside and if you have some images which are cluttered which are not correct which are damaged which you think will not work out can be removed from this directory so that that will not be taken for the training process you are free to remove anything from here and it won't impact the total process and it is in fact a good practice to remove the images which are not complete i am removing these three images which i think are not complete by all means and they are removed right now so once the images are all finalized and unwanted images are removed the procedure is to go ahead with the training we have collected the data set the second part of it is to train it how do we do that there is a file called as train underscore model dot py which will help us with the training process we are going to run that file right now and the training will start this will all happen in seconds and it is a very fast process you can see that each image is being gone through and the training is happening it may take from few seconds to maximum minute based on the amount of the data set that you have and once the training is all complete we are all set to go to check if our face is recognized we are going to take the models right now to validate if a train model dot oml is created this will have the complete information about the data set all the features that are learned are going to be reflected in this train model dot oml file and now it is time for us to understand if the recognition can go properly with the amount of training and amount of data set that we have collected so here you go we are running the file called face underscore recognizer dot py and once you run it it will launch the recognizer window the camera will be launched and you can see that id underscore one is displayed for the first person we gave the id as one and hence it is detected as id underscore one and how much ever angle you move the face it will still work fine now we are showing the woman's photo with which we have trained and it is detecting it as id underscore two and it is also perfect you can see that when the out of focus in focus happens for both the images it gets detecting properly now we are changing the name in the string i'm going to change the name of the string as anudeep and the second one for the woman we are replacing it as woman the first one is given the name as anudeep and the second one is given the name as woman and when you run it again instead of id1 and id2 it will have the tag as anudeep and woman you can see that now it is anudeep this will look more professional and complete when you submit it to somebody for evaluation you can see that any angle it is getting recognized perfectly and now when you show the woman's picture it will be recognized as woman that is it you have built a model which got trained 
which is now recognizing perfectly and all this happen real time with very good accuracy.